Hey guys! Um, so I thought I'd do something a little different today and actually walk through um, putting paper into a coaster. Now there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can laminate the paper um, and then cut around that lamination, you know, leaving a little border and then put it in there. You know, that works perfectly fine. Uh, but for this technique, I'm actually going to be sealing my paper using Mod Podge. Um, this is the matte Mod Podge. You can use matte or gloss, whichever works for you. But so what I did was I went through my enormous stash of Christmas stuff and I found this pack from K and Company. This is from 2012, if you can believe it or not. Um, lots of really great images, classic um, images. These are actually to and from tags, but I picked out images that don't have the to and from. And then I also found this pack of flowers from Michaels. This was probably from 2015, I think. So I'm pairing those together and I just wanted to check to make sure that the papers and the flowers fit in there fine. Um, so basically once they come out of the molds, hopefully they'll look something like that. So for the first part, um, what I'm going to do is actually seal all of this stuff up. <clears throat> so I'll show you guys how I do that. And then um, I'll just do one. And then I'll come back um, when it's time to pour after they've all uh, dried, basically. So we'll do this one move these off to the side. Oh. Well, let's mute that, shall we? There we go. So, when you're curing, or <laughs> curing, when you're sealing stuff, you want to make sure that you seal all of the edges um, all the way around. And I uh, have only done this once, but it worked out quite well. Thank thankfully, uh, YouTube has lots of great tutorials on how to do this. So don't take this as a tutorial. Go seek out someone else. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll link a, a really good tutorial for this down uh, in the description. So you want to go in one direction and kind of pick up the edges with your brush for your first sealing and then eventually you're going to um, do the other side as well so you have to do both sides and then when you come back after this is dry you're going to go in the opposite direction so that you seal up these sides as well and it also makes sure your your paper is good and sealed so once I've done all of that I will come back to you and show you what they look like Okay guys, so I just took my mask off because I've already mixed up my resin. I'm going to put it back on when I pour, but I wanted to show you what these look like now that they're sealed. So hopefully you can see that, that it's got like a little sheen to it. So I did front and back on all of these twice. So I got both sides twice. And then... For the flowers, I decided to test another way, which kind of came to me. So I have this um, Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealer, um, and this is matte. Um, so I sprayed the flowers, just, you know, really good spraying on um, each side just once. So we'll see if that actually works to seal it. Um, I know that the sealer doesn't go in between the flowers. Like the flower petals so I guess we'll find out um, anyway I'm gonna put my mask back on and get to pouring mm -hmm.
right guys so these are cured now they're nice and hard um I noticed that some of them were not sealed all the way you can see some of the dark green but that shouldn't affect things I hope um anyway I figured that since these are Christmas coasters that I would finish them in um red but now I'm thinking I want to do green hmm yeah because that would be too much red with the flowers yeah so we'll do green um so I already have my resin mixed up I just took off my mask to talk to you guys for a minute and now I'm gonna put it back on and put you guys on fast forward
that's a lot of resin. But, um, so what I'm going to do now is just going to cover these up so that they don't collect dust while they are curing. And I will come back to you tomorrow once I mold them. Alright, see you then. Whew. Okay guys, so it has actually been two days since I poured the second layer. Um, I came downstairs yesterday afternoon and felt one of them and it was like the top was cured but the middle was still squishy so hopefully when I pushed on it it didn't mess anything up. So we are going to demold these now. I'm hoping they come out. If not, I guess my roommates have new coasters. All right. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. Uh, how can you... Sorry, I have a new camera set up, so it's a little hard to figure. There we go. So that's one of them. That's really pretty. And I also like the three-dimensional aspect to it. So you can clearly see the two layers. So that's the first one. Looks really nice. Let's move on to the second one. Oh. Yep, I lined these up a little wrong. <laughs> totally covered the horse's head. But um, other than that, it's really nice. There are some bubbles. I'm trying to see. Yeah, you can even see in the flower there are a couple of bubbles. But other than that, it looks really good. I really like this green color. I had wanted it to be darker than that, but <sighs> sometimes with, uh, with acrylic pores, you kind of have to take what you're given. All right, here's another one. It's the one with the bird. Very pretty. The, uh, the flowers really turned out very nice. Like, I wish that I'd gotten more packs of those now. All right, here's another one. Again, I put the I put the, uh, the object, which is supposed to be like a package. I put that in the wrong space. That's all right. It still turned out really pretty. Let's see this one. Oh, that's very nice. It's like a white poinsettia with a red poinsettia flower. Very nice. Minimal. There is some... You're not going to be able to see them on the video, but obviously they'll show up in the, uh, in the video at the end where I show them off in the light. Um, but there are micro bubbles throughout, which don't look terrible. They actually look kind of cool, but, you know, there is a part of me that wishes those weren't there. So anyway, here's the last one. Oh, it's so cute. It's the snowman. Sorry, upside down. Very cute. I like that a lot. Let me see if I can get... I wish I had better lighting. I need to invest in better lighting. Um, but yeah, so that's how these coasters turned out. The ceiling of the pictures did a pretty good job, I would say. I'm not sure if the micro bubbles were because some of the sealant didn't work. Like I said, um, I'm going to have a video, a YouTube video uh, linked in the description that has a better um, tutorial. There we go, that's the word. Tutorial for how to seal paper into resin. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Let's see. Maybe you can. Right here, right in this general area, it's a little darker. That's where the paper wasn't sealed completely. But um, honestly and truly, if you're just kind of not really looking that closely, you can't really tell that that's what's going on with that. Overall, I'm totally happy with these, except for the rocking horse. I wish that I had realized where I was placing that because <laughs> now it's a rocking flower <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching um 
I've been doing a lot of resin videos lately, so if you like resin videos, make sure that you uh, check out my channel, subscribe, like this video, like all the videos, or dislike them if you prefer. Whichever, it helps me out, you know, uh, uh, you know, someone doing something on my channel, all counts the same. Anyway, thank you guys again, take care, and I'll see you later.